Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Professor Ankin. In this video, I'm going to show you two common mistakes that people make when they're working with C++ arrays. All right, so the first mistake is that people forget that for performance reasons, C++ has no array bounds checking. All right, so what this means is that it's up to you as a programmer to make sure that you're only using valid subscripts. So let us imagine, or let us say that we had a array uh, called nums, and we're going to initialize it with four integers. So eight, six, seven, and five, all right? And um, that's gonna give us a four element array. Okay, so what are the legal subscripts then? What are the legal indexes for that array? The legal subscripts are zero, one, two, and three. But there's nothing stopping you from doing something like this, All right? So doing C out nums negative one, okay? So if you're coming from a Python background, you're thinking, oh, well, that's a totally valid um, index I can use because of the way that works in Python, but in C++ it's not. Negative one <clears throat> as a subscript accesses the four bytes before the beginning of the array. So what's there? I don't know. In this case, when I run the program, it was negative whatever this number is, right? It's a big, long, long old number, negative 858 million or something, right? That's not a value that I put there. That just happened to be whatever was in the memory location before the beginning of the array, right? So you could do that. You could access uh, past the end of the array, okay? The valid indexes are zero through three. The valid subscripts are zero through three. Six is not valid. So here I'm getting some more garbage out of it. So, you know, if you're getting garbage values when working with array, chances are you're accessing something that's not within the array, all right? So that's the first thing. That's the first mistake. The second mistake, which can look kind of similar, is that um, people will mess up when they're setting up their for loops, okay? So uh, this is known as an off by one error. And our textbook talks about this. So they'll do something like this. They'll forget, for example, that um, arrays begin with a subscript of zero. Okay, and so then um, they'll say, oh, well, it must be the first element, therefore the subscript's gonna be one. So they'll say i equals one, i less than or equal to size, right? Because I wanna go through the end of the array, uh, and then they'll do i plus plus, and then they'll do something like this. So they'll see out nums uh, of i, and try to display the contents of the array. Now, what are we gonna see? What we're gonna see is six, seven, five in some garbage, okay? Um, because this is an off by one error, six, seven, five in some garbage. Okay, why, what happened? Well, we initialized i, integer at i to one. So in the first repetition of this loop, it was c out nums of one. So what's that one? What's at the one-th element, the element with subscript one? Six. So we started at six. We skipped the first one because we didn't initialize i to zero. Okay, now why did we see that garbage value? Because the subscript went through size. Well, what size? Take a look. Size is four. So, so long as i is less than or equal to size, then the cout statement executes. So when i is four, and it will be four, four is less than or equal to four, right? When i is equal to four, size is equal to four, so this is true. So then we uh, have a statement that executes C out nums of four. Well, what's four? There is no valid subscript four. That is four bytes past the end of the array. And so that's why we see that garbage value there. And that's why we didn't see the eight at the very beginning. All right, so you know, how do you fix this? Well, you gotta make sure that you set this stuff up correctly in here. Now, some people will go, oh, all right, well, cool, I, I missed that. So I still need to go through the entire length of the array. So they set the i to zero and they go, they look at it and they go, oh, okay, cool. There's the eight, six, seven, five. Now, where's this garbage value coming from? Oh, I have no idea. What am I going to do? The, the solution is, this is a, a logic error. And the solution of the logic errors is always doing some kind of hand tracing, right? Um, but, you know, if you just look at your test expression, Remember, the body of a for loop is only going to, or any loop for that matter, any a while loop or do while loop is only going to execute so long as the test expression is true, right? So, so what we got to do? We got to say, no, 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 no. So long as i is less than size, so long as i contains a value less than four, 
which makes sense, right? Because the last valid subscript is three. So then when we do that, you know, we build and run this thing, then we're not going to have any problems, right? You're going to see there's our 8675, no more garbage value. Okay. So that's known as an off by one error. Okay. So it's going to be up to you to make sure that you avoid both of those errors. Okay. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours or hit me up on zoom online for the rest of you. If you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe. You can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever, but most of all, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.